Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called God Gives Manna. Today's memory verse is from Joel chapter 2, verse 26. It says, You will have plenty to eat, and you will praise the name of the Lord. The message for today's story is we thank God for giving us good food. Where do you get your food? From a store? From an orchard or a field? God gave the Israelites some unusual food. When the Israelites had been traveling in the desert for several weeks, the food they had brought with them from Egypt was almost gone. There were no grocery stores in the desert. There were no fields or trees to get food from either. Instead of trusting God, the Israelites began complaining and grumbling. God knew that they were worried, and God knew that they were hungry too. He knew they needed healthy food to keep them strong. So God told Moses that he would send them bread from heaven that night. In the morning, thin, white flakes lay on the ground all over the camp. The Israelites had never seen anything like it. What is it? they said to one another. It's the food the Lord has given you to eat, said Moses. Taste and eat. The special food tasted like crackers and honey. The people called it manna, which means, what is it? Then Moses said, Each morning you will find manna on the ground. Get up early and gather enough for the day, but do not keep any overnight. But some people didn't listen to Moses. They tried to save some manna for the next day. The next morning their manna was spoiled and it smelled really bad. Some people were lazy and did not gather enough for the whole day. But the hot sun melted the manna and those people went hungry until the next day. On Friday, Moses told the people to gather enough manna for two days because God would not send manna on Sabbath. But some people didn't listen to Moses. On the other nights, the manna had spoiled, so they thought it would spoil on Friday night too. But it didn't, and on Sabbath, no new manna appeared on the ground. By the end of the first week, everyone knew that they had to follow God's directions. As long as they gathered enough manna for the whole day, every morning, they had enough to eat. And on every Friday, they had to gather enough for two days. When the Israelites followed God's directions, they had fresh food every day. God took care of their needs, and God takes care of our needs too. God gives us our food today. He may not send manna from heaven, but however you get food, it is because God provides for your needs. Let's praise God for our food. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.